trims and finishing. Clip the 70mm cover packers into the eaves beam at regular intervals. Select the eaves beam internal cover and position into the barbs on the eaves beam and press into place. Select the eaves beam 90 degree joint cover and press into place into the corner gaps between the eaves beam cover. Select the 90 degree corner post cover and push onto the leg of the post and slide upwards until the front meets the eaves beam. Position an 18mm coupling cover over the barbs on the inside of the post and push to fit. The 18mm coupling covers will need trimming to fit underneath the external eaves beam trim and eaves beam cover. Select the 18mm coupling covers and position onto the recesses of the sides of each quarter turn button on the 18mm inline couplings and push to fit. Repeat for each inline coupling and on the inside. Position the ridge internal cover beneath the serrated prongs of the aluminium ridge spacers. Push the internal ridge capping into position until it touches the bottom of the glazing bars on each side of the roof. Apply self-adhesive foam tape along the length of the bottom edge of the starter bars. Hook the fascia trim over the top edge of the starter bar top cap. Peel back the adhesive protective strip and stick the fascia trim to the starter bar. Apply a bead of silicone around the inside edge of the ridge cover cap and attach to the end of the ridge. Fit the handles to all opening sashes using the 5 by 20 mm handle screws. Attach the sill end caps at the door using a bead of silicone. Silicone between the sill and dwarf wall. At this stage, reinstall the glass and glazing beads in the gable end.